and welcome back to the channel there we see the aerial rider grizzly right there and on today's video I want to talk about fenders and as you can see there's the front fender down there and that's what it looks like on the grizzly and there's the rear fender right to there and let's hop on and go for a ride and talk about fenders on e-bikes so let's talk about fenders on e-bikes as I fix my mirror here so some people probably don't want fenders on their bike I've heard of some that you know just don't like them um, for whatever reason personally I like them I'm not so worried that they don't look good because I think they do look fine but I um, I like fenders for the fact of what they do and uh, keeping you dry although I want to talk though first about the fenders on this particular bike so most bikes come with fenders right usually not always but most times but sometimes you have to buy uh, fenders. This Grizzly, the fenders came with the bike, but my first bike was the Rad Rover 4, and it didn't come with fenders. So I had to purchase the fenders uh, on that bike, and they, uh, when I bought the bike, I wanted fenders at the same time but couldn't get any because they were out of stock back ordered so i ordered them anyway and paid for them and then had them shipped as soon as they came in well they were 90 dollars and so um to me it was a no-brainer to get them because i let's face it you need fenders on your bike at least i think you do especially living here in oregon uh, you can really get pretty wet, you know, if you don't have fenders on your bike or muddy or whatever. And so, but I want to talk about the fenders first on this particular bike. Uh, so this particular bike, the fenders, if you notice when I showed you the fenders at the beginning of the video, they're short on this bike. And I don't think it's so much of a problem on the front of the bike. But the back, it's just too short. And this uh, bike kicks up a lot of mud and, uh, and uh, wet. And so uh, the back of you and my helmet and everything can get pretty, uh, pretty dirty from the uh, kickback, you know, from the fender, I think, being too short. I think they need to make the fender just a little bit longer. So... So that's the Grizzly. I would make the, the fenders, they almost have to go down the wheel almost halfway to be, to be pretty good, I think. Um, but uh, just get by this turn here and then I'm gonna talk some more. I'm gonna talk about the Rad Rover. So the Rad Rover, Four, the one I have um, which is now four years old I've had it a little, little over four years now and like I say I had to buy the fenders uh, which wasn't a you know a big deal I wanted to get them they were $90 now if you buy a Rad Rover the newer ones um, it comes with uh, with uh, fenders on it most bikes, like I say, do, but there are some that they, they'll charge extra if you want fenders. But anyway, the fenders on the Rad Rover, though, are really nice. I mean, the fenders on that bike are, are long. You know, they cover a lot of the wheel, which is great for keeping you from getting all wet and mud. You know, your bike doesn't become a mud slinger. And I find that it seems to me that, that more bikes that have the smaller wheels, the 20 inch wheels, which this Grizzly has, tend to have the shorter, not because the wheel is 20 inch, but just the fenders don't cover as much of the wheel, I notice. 
and so uh, then you get to the Rad Rover though and those are 26 inch wheels 26 by 4 the Grizzly are here are 20 by 4 but they like I say they cover a lot of the wheel which is great I don't really care one way or the other uh, I don't know if one's better really than the other uh, I suppose the plastic ones are, are going to be if something hits the fender it's not going to be noisy like the uh, metal ones would and the other thing about the metal is I'm sure in time they would rust right so but uh but I'm okay either way as long as the bike has fenders I'm good with that um if the bike didn't have fenders or any bike that I have didn't have fenders I would probably be uh purchasing some uh, ASAP because we do get a lot of rain here in Oregon and uh, I know somebody who uh, on their bike they have homemade they made their own uh, fenders not sure what they use or how they did it exactly but they're plastic and they form their own uh, fenders uh, which is cool I mean that'll save you some bucks if you can do that or want to do that but but anyway uh, yeah what do you think about fenders leave a comment in the comments below about fenders do you have fenders on your bike uh, could you live without fenders on your bike I suppose if it's high and dry in the summer or you might be able to do deal without uh, fenders but even even in the summer if you're riding on like a dirt uh, uh, trail that can kick up some some dirt at you you know or some rocks or whatever and so uh, the fenders will protect you th from that too but I don't know I'm just a I guess I'm a fender person I I'm on the side of yes let's have fenders but I can see on certain bikes though I guess that they may not look as cool you know but um, yeah I like the fenders and that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel if you like this video hit that like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.